So let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Uh, this one about Baker Mayfield and a potential return to Cleveland. Hi, this is James Siler from Wadsworth. I keep hearing all these things about Baker Mayfield claiming that Cleveland can kiss his butt before he'll ever play for him again, and I agree with him. I agree with him completely. I don't want him back at quarterback. He needs to go on down the road. All I can see is he reminded me of Paul McDonald last year, and I just remembered that deflated feeling. We were driving downfield against Green Bay, and we were about to win the game, and Mayfield throws an interception to seal the win for the Packers. I don't want to go through that anymore. He was horrible. He should have set. Thank you very much. You have a great day. All right, and as always, we appreciate all of the voicemails. So, uh, Quincy, um, that would be a hard no. I, I, I think he's paraphrasing a, um, uh, the, the kiss my butt, but uh, I get the sentiment. And, and it's very polarizing. There's a section that wants him back, and there's a section of Browns fans that want nothing to do with six. There's a section of Browns fans that want him back because they don't know no better or have <laughs> never seen any better, right? That's their argument. Like, I'm not even paraphrasing. Isn't that their argument? We have had nobody better than this since 1999. Therefore, we must stick this out no matter what with this quarterback. That has basically been a lot of the argument between people about this whole Baker Mayfield thing. It's not even that they think he's that good. They just think he's better than what the Browns have had. And being better than Brandon Whedon does not mean that we are <laughs> obligated to keep you throughout your entire career. But... You know, there there is that. Baker Mayfield has thrown a lot of game ceiling interceptions. I mean, I could just count four off the top of my head. That's too many, right? Like that's that's too many. And I'm think they're all from this season, but that that's too many. But I understand why people were done. People were done with this whole situation during the season, right? People felt like they needed to move on. This is not a surprise here. Um, you know, I know people are trying to frame this as the Browns fumbled a situation with Baker Mayfield, but let's be real. If the Browns wanted Baker Mayfield, they would have tried to keep Baker Mayfield, but they have made no attempt to smooth things over with Baker Mayfield, which tells me they they eye right with him. You know, I think they're at that point, too. I think they, they have seen enough. They're, yep. they're okay with letting him go.